Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to do a little walkthrough of my memory planner so far, because I get questions all the time about this memory planner and the process. And so I thought I'd answer a little bit of questions here and there. So first I work off of a disc. So first I work off of a disc style memory planner and I use small rings until I grow out of them and then I switch them out to bigger rings. So this is a Maggie Holmes memory planner from Crate Paper. And I believe it's like a 2019 style. So I chose the one with the dark cover. I actually have four because I know they're gonna be discontinued soon. Um, th this is 2019 and she did make some, I think in 2020, but it was a different style format. So anyway, let's jump on in and look at January. So in January, I always start off with a vision board and my vision board is always photos. Then I just kind of give a little blurb of, you know, the gratitude from the year before. And then I just jump into what my expectations are for the year. I love to put extra. This is one of the reasons why I chose the disc. I was working in a Heidi Swap planner and I, I love to put cards in there and extra photos and big things inside my planner, like big photos, small photos, pockets. And I'll show you along the way as I show you uh, more pages that this is one of the reasons why I chose the memory planner. So it just, it's really helpful to kind of have that freedom. So one of the tools that you will most definitely need is this Create 365, the Happy Planner Classic Punch. And that's how I put these cards in there. This punch is going to be gold for you. <laughs> because that's how you will add extra things to your planner. The second thing that I wanna show you is this Happy Planner Rectangle Punch. And it's perfect, it makes your life much easier when you can just punch from any kind of paper and then place it in your memory planner. And I'll show you along the way. I do a ton of stitching throughout my book. So that's another wonderful thing about disc planners is you can pull stuff out, stitch on it, and then bring it back in, you know, and it, you can't do that with other planners. That's, it's very difficult. So uh, this is one of the reasons, another reason, great reason that I use the disc planner. So here I just have a recap of New Year's and then it goes into the year. I add a ton of photos and chipboard and stickers all throughout the whole um, week. I work in half weeks, so I will do half a week here and then half a week on the other side. Th this just gives me um, a breather, so I'll only do halves of weeks all the time. I love to do flip outs and photos, accordion style photo pieces. I love envelopes, like here's a Heidi Swap envelope and I put extra pictures in there. Um, I pretty much use this planner as um, something for me to document my everyday, my thoughts, my feelings, my emotions, the things I'm reading, eating. It's pretty much my own personal diary, but with photos or like a graphic novel with photos. And so I just make it as cute as can be because it brings me a lot of joy. I will add flip ups with vellum and cut out punched um, hearts. I add a bunch of different embellishments throughout. I add flip ups. And again, fold outs, uh, pretty much anything that my heart desires, I will do it on these pages. And so I will get, um, double the size of photos, make them double, uh, and then just place them in two spots. I make a lot of my own stickers. This is an actual brush set from Studio Calico. And then I put it on a clear sticker sheet paper. I use sticker sheets from Amazon. I will link that in the bottom. Um, it will be my affiliate link. So the clear sheets uh, are from my Amazon store. And then we're going into February. So February, see again, I add little three by four cards so that they don't go to waste. I stitch on them. I made this uh, match book style pocket over here. Little, and I add acrylic pieces. Um, flip outs, little doors that flip out. Ta-da, peekaboo. Um, so many things that you can do in memory planners. I will also do mixed media on them. This is the Tim Holtz Distress Inks. 
and embossed stamp. I know you can't see it very well, but I also use, back here I used some um, uh, gesso. This is actually gesso with a stencil. Just so you know, I use gesso. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> and then I make pockets, so sequence pockets. And then, of course, look, I just punch them on the side. If you can see the punches here, and you just fill the pockets and you can place them anywhere you want. You can place them on the top, on the bottom, because once you have them punched, then I use clear pockets for extra photos and tags. The sky is the limit, you guys. You could put paper clips in here. You can make it as thick as you want because you can change out the rings and make them much thicker so that she could be thick. Then I, you know, I just talk about the everyday happenings, everything to library trips, what I'm reading, stuff that I ordered on Amazon. Don't tell Albert. You know, people, uh, big events, Super Bowl, you know, going out to dinner. On this side, I made a little string uh, opening. So I just used some brads and it opens and closes like that with hearts, heart-shaped brads. I, um, again, more flip-ups that are staggered. And then lots of vellum pieces with, uh, also with journaling on a clear sticker sheet. Then we're gonna head into March. So the colors also change. That's the great thing that your, your planner can be as colorful as you want it, as black and white as you want it. It's all up to you. Um, I added a ton of teal on this spread and this is a pocket. So I made a pocket out of two um, cards and you can put extra photos in there. So there's extra journaling, extra photos opportunities because I know that the small little um, rectangles can be intimidating. What can you say in such a small rectangle space? Add extra, that's fine. You know, more photos, you need more photos, do flip ups. The, the sky's the limit, really. So here we are in March. That was such a cute movie. And then again, more little cards in and out, stitched work. It is it is so much fun and I wouldn't, I, I've tried other planners. I came back to the disc because for me, it's just a whole lot of fun. So I hope that you give memory planning a chance. Um, and let me know if you do so that way I can subscribe to your channel and follow you along. So thank you again for watching and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and of course hit that notification bell so that way you know when I post it again because I know I'm not consistent but I'm trying to be so um, I would appreciate your support. Bye friends! Take